this is the uh, first problem of the additional problems which I posted in class and the problem says here that you have a one 110 um, kilogram football lineman is running to the right at 2.75 meters per second so um, for ease of illustration I'll just gonna sketch a circle and that represents the mass of the lineman and it's going to the right so I'm just gonna draw an arrow to indicate that it's going to the right and also to take note that um, measurements going to the right will bear positive sign so I'm just gonna write uh, VAI that means to say the object uh, A which is the that lineman 110 kilogram lineman is moving at 2.75 meters per second to the right so it bears a positive sign and then continuing with the problem, there is another 125 lineman. So this is slightly um, more massive than the first one. So i will just going to sketch a more bigger circle to indicate that that is um, more massive mass. Okay, B. And it's moving, according to the problem, it's moving towards the first lineman at 2.60. So it's there going to be a head and collision, most likely, so that... Uh, represents the direction of where uh, the second lineman is going so that would be VBI meaning the initial velocity of object B in this case the object B is uh, the 125 lineman it's moving at 2.60 meters per second and since it's going towards the left um, you have to take note that it must be properly indicated with a sign of negative right so for this one, um, for part A, we are basically asked to find for the magnitude and direction of the net momentum of the two, at two athletes. Um, you have an expected answer over there, but I'm just going to specify some things. That the mass of A, or the first lineman, is 110 kilograms. The M sub B, or the mass of the second lineman, moving towards the left, is 125 kilograms. All right. Now to solve for A, we basically are... As I've said, is looking for the magnitude and the direction of the net force, I mean net momentum of these two athletes. Now, um, if you recall in the previous class, when we try to find for the net momentum, we actually do uh, like vector addition, right? Vector addition, especially for cases where um, there are involved angles such as if your momentum a is moving towards some direction over here so maybe you have some theta and then uh, it, it interacts with another momentum of another object let's say pb then you knew from our discussion that you actually or we actually solve that one by doing this vector addition so this will be our p total or in this case the net momentum however in this problem that is not very practical to do because we are just dealing with uh, linear motion along the x so it's this is very easy to add but then again this is still um addition of vectors but line so i mean vectors lying along the same line so this will be very easy so just stay tuned for the solution so no brainer the solution is no brainer your p net uh it's just the vector sum of the momentum of object a uh, first line man plus the momentum of object B. And why I call that vector sum because uh, basically we're dealing with vectors. So it's different from algebraic sum. So if I'm going to do that, I have P net. I'm just going to um, like break down. P A is just mass of A V A I plus the mass of object B, the velocity of B initial. All right. So after that one, uh, uh, at inspection, you notice MA is given, VAI, MB, VBI are all given. So I don't really have a problem at all other than uh, the basic addition of these, um, sorry, basic vector addition of these two vectors. So from there, um, I notice I don't have any missing variables. So this is looking good. I'm just going to substitute the values. Mass A is 110 kilograms. VAI, you need to take special heat of the sign here. So it's positive, so 2.75 meters per second. Uh, mass B is just 125 kilograms. Your velocity B initial, as you can see in the problem, bears a negative sign since it's moving towards the left. 
So that should be written as negative 2.60 meters per second. Right, so from there, uh, you just have to evaluate the term. So the first term will give you 302.5 and the units is kilogram meter per second. So nothing special unit. There's no special unit for momentum. As I've said, this is like the least favorite child with no special name. <laughs> anyway, uh, you notice also here that the second term actually has a negative sign. So from there, if you try to... Uh, Add that up, you notice that the second term, which bears a negative sign, uh, is larger. So you would expect that the net momentum is negative 22.5 uh, kilogram times meter per second. So that is the net momentum. That means to say that the net momentum, okay, it's not working. Put that one. All right. Now we have to make sense of what we are getting here. Um, you have to take note that the net momentum is negative. That means to say that it's more likely to move towards the left. Likely to move towards the left. What I'm trying to say is if we have um, the collision of these two objects, as you can see, um, after the collision, it's most li more likely that the object will move towards the left. And if you try to check if that is sensible, Take note your mass A is moving at 2.75, but it has a, a smaller mass, 110. And the other one here is 125. This B over here is 125, so it's more massive. And uh, it's moving um, at relatively close, 2.60 meters per second on the opposite direction. So that means to say the negative sign is telling you that after the collision, it's more likely that they will go towards this direction. And hence, you are getting a negative sign. Right? So I'm hoping um, that is how you try to make sense of your problems. I mean, of, of the solutions of your problem. Because I've, as I've said in our class, um, those things that you are seeing, the numbers that you are seeing, must be sensible and logical in the context of our problem. And in this case, yep, um, ball B is more massive and it's going towards the left. So it's expected that the net momentum will have also a negative sign. So for the second problem, or part B of this problem, it asks of the total kinetic energy. Now, if you are asked for the total kinetic energy, that is merely not a vector addition anymore, but algebraic addition. Because kinetic energy, or energy in general, is what? Scalar. So you don't have to vectorally add that one. So I will just say KAT, or K total, is just the sum of kin kinetic energy of the ball A or the lineman A and the kinetic energy of lineman B. So from there, it's just a matter of substitution. So I have one half mass of A, velocity of AI squared, plus uh, one half mass of B, velocity of BI squared. Now I'm just going to factor out common term. Actually, it's only one half that is common in this case. So one half MA VAI is square dot VA plus uh, mass of B VB I uh, square also that one. So from there uh, we just going we are just going to substitute the value. So one half mass of A is a hundred ten kilograms. VAI is two point seventy five. So you have to take special heat again of the uh, signs. But I guess in this case signs won't matter much because you are going to square it. So it's just going to end up positive. But anyway, uh, the point that I'm just trying to make is to always take special heed of the sign. So if you try to calculate that one, that will give you a Ka sub t or Ka total. That is approximately, uh, I'm, just up, I'm just going to approximate it. So it's approximately equal to 838 to two decimal places, point 44 it's kilogram meter squared the unit is meter squared over second squared but this quarter i am really positive that that unit rings a bell hopefully because the quarter is about to end that is just joules or newton times meter all right so there we go that is our solution to this additional problem